So I thought it was about time I upgraded some of the bus lines around the local towns, but doing so has led to some rather interesting behaviour. Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to From Steam to Electricity here on Transport Fever 2 and today we are going to be bringing the upgrades here to the network. There's a couple of things that I want to do, most of which, if not all of which, hopefully are going to uh, improve things here drastically. Um, no doubt, hopefully no doubt anyway. So, what's changed since last time out? Not a lot really. To be honest, the biggest change is Stone Market now accepts fuel again. So uh, the last episode's title is now a little bit redundant. Um, it's almost like I should have waited, but never mind. Um, I do still want to get some line usage up here, though, particularly traveling in and around Stone Market. So I've got some ideas for that because uh, 10% is pretty damn low. And I feel like we'd make a lot more money were it not for that. We've also got a nice supply now of uh, tools and machines coming in to the uh, to the city here or the town and because we're now getting oil hopefully yeah we're getting a little bit more oil brought over from Stafford oil refinery which is over here uh, we could do with actually you've got a nice supply so I think it is just the frequency needs improving but we've got a good yeah 83 seconds the rate is actually pretty crap so we could do with that improving but um, it could be worse. Is this the massive circle one? This is the massive circle one. So yeah, okay, I can see where that would get improved. Um, that's that's absolutely fine. So the first thing I want to do then is over here at Stafford. Uh, not Stafford, sorry, Stone Market. So right now, I've got uh, on the buses here, three buses going round. They're picking up passengers. We could probably lower this actually to two. But in a second, we're not going to have any because we're going to be making some tweaks and some changes. As good as the, the bus station here is, I actually want to move it a little closer to the town centre and probably put it on this road here um, for reasons that will become clear momentarily. And I kind of want to form an X shape. So there'll be a tram line, tram, not bus, that starts up in here, goes through the bus station and then out this way. And then there'll also be one over here that does the exact same thing, but in the opposite direction. So we need to move the bus station in order for that to become a viable option. But instead of just deleting this one and building a new one, um, I'm going to build the new one first. Which does also mean making some other changes. Because one of the things I want to do is get this road here upgraded uh, and turned into a wider street. Because this is basically the main east-west road. And as you can see, it actually forms the road that then runs out to Cockermouth. And then onwards... To Stafford. So this could become quite a key trunk route in the future. Therefore, it does need to be upgraded sooner rather than later. So we've got a little bit of money to burn right now. So I figured why not burn it. Um, we only have one line coming through here right now. So that's not the worst time to actually do it. Let's get the truck unloader. So that's going to be... What is it? Steel. What are we delivering here? So it's probably going to be the tools, right? into South Street. So you are carrying... Or machines. Ah, it's machines. Okie dokie. So we need to find where machines are required, which is actually this side of town mostly. With a little bit down in the southern end. Because tools are getting brought into this one and that's what this is. Uh, where's fuel? Fuel is that one there. So we're very... I'm being very keen not to demolish that one by mistake. So let's build that there, like so, and then we'll reroute this line here to run via that. There we are. I think that might actually help a little bit with traffic flow too, which is nice. Just check that is the right one. Yep, good. We can now remove you. So South Street is no more, although it will probably get its name brought back in a second when we build this. So next up, bus tram. Uh, we want tram track, yes. We want quite big. Yeah, already we can't afford it, see? So we need to keep the game running whilst we try and build this. Now I wanted it to go in without disturbing anything 
on this street. But I feel like that's going to be borderline impossible. And in fact, before I even do that, I need to do the main thing that I was going to do here, which is upgrade this road, which is excruciatingly expensive. There's actually a choice here then. If we upgrade this, that's going to cost 1.3 million. That's 860,000. That's 1.4 million. Things like that. There are better ways that we can spend this money, including on this, which is going to be the train that I've been dying to put in now for as long as I can remember. Six, seven, eight. That's 1.1 million right there. And that's for a 32 capacity iron ore train that's going to run up and down the line here. That, I think, is a better spend of money than upgrading streets in the middle of Stafford. So I think that is actually going to be what we uh, we focus on with that. That being said, I think there is still a lot of scope here for upgrading the, uh, the bus here to a tram. And I think I've got a, a plan for that still. Uh, because technically, right now, we could just build two stops here. And that could be how um, passengers transfer from one line to the other. We don't necessarily need a big central bus hub like this. And in fact, this could form the southern terminus for this line temporarily. And then this one can still cross over like this. So, that could work. The other thing that's bugging me right now is the fact that this line loops around like this to get to the drive. So what are you? What are you carrying here? You are carrying tools. So yeah, you're kind of important. Maybe if I built one on the other side as well, then they would come in this way and perhaps loop around in that direction. Let's test that theory. Because that's quite a cheap expense, I would say. Uh, we'll pop you there. So when you come to the drive, you're actually going to come in on two. Or you're going to come in on one. You're going to come in on one. Nope. What you've actually done there is loop round the wrong way. Although that's probably better for what we're trying to do here. Because it keeps the queue off the main road here. So I'm not too upset about that. And we haven't upset anything there, which is good. Excellent. We could, in theory, for both of these, in fact... Um, ah, you can't do second stops for this. That's annoying. So we're still going to have a queue... Oh, hello. We're still going to have a queue on one side, but not the other, which is fine, I suppose. Uh, as for the tram, then, I think this would be a good spot to build the cross, maybe? Or here and here could be a good spot whoops to build the cross so if I did one there like that one there like that that could work yep yeah. and then if I built one over here like so that one's already sorted as we said and then over here if I was to build A road like this this one here let's say it came down and connected up like this and then from here if we had a road that came across like this I'm hoping then the town will start growing like that uh, also we can connect this to this this one can come around like that this one can come around like this. And yeah, the organic growth of the town is beginning. Although my bypass is now less of a bypass and more of just a... Well, it's not even a pass at this stage, is it? It's just a... I don't really know what you'd describe it as, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we could do something like this. And we can put a stop there like that. We could build a second stop opposite this first one. Let's build it a bit further down like that. Which does present a problem over here, but that's fixable by moving that one to there. And getting rid of that one. This can then be replaced with stops here and here. Although saying that, let's remove both of those. Just keeping an eye on the money whilst I'm doing this, believe it or not. Because I don't particularly want to go bust. Um, 
Let's do one there like that, one there like that. And then over here, we could build a second one like that. And then if I built another one like this, and now we can start building streets again. So you will connect up like that. This will then come out in this sort of direction. Let's say this one curved around like this. And joined up over here. This would then come around like that. Uh, and then this one, I guess, like this. And then we could build like so. That I'm kind of happy with. This I'm kind of happy with. Especially if I then... Because this can be extended then. If I build this a second stop and then it can come out this way and it, you know, let's pretend people live... Uh, oh, sorry. They, wow. Words. Let's pretend people get the tram to work. So then we could build a stop over here. But in reality, it would be serving the buildings a little bit closer. So if we now look at this, you can kind of see. So from here, it'll go over to here, then to here, then to here, and then to the bus station. In the other direction, it goes here, 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 this one, and then over to here, where it would terminate. I think that, as a couple of lines, is not a bad idea. I think that would work. Hopefully, it generates enough funds that we can actually start um, buying trains and things like that. I've turned off Line Manager. don't know why I've got that open still. I've turned off Line Manager for the start of this episode. Excuse me. Just to make sure that we have got uh, funds to actually be able to do the majority of this. Um, and for the most part, I think... The thing I'm worried about is we won't be able to afford trains still. And then we've kind of done all this for nothing. But... I feel like that's going to be an issue no matter what at this stage, so there's no point dwelling on it. Let's upgrade the roads then, and I want to try and keep the trams to the main roads where possible. So like this, like this, like this, and we're going to do this route first, and then we'll do the other route where they cross. So you're going to go like this, and then, yeah, it's going to go like this, like this, like this, like this, and like this. That's route one done. Route two... is going to be this and then this and then this and this and then I guess I oh know it's here isn't it it turns uh, game there we go yeah it's not the worst it's not the worst you see it forms the the X shape that we were looking for. I think that works out kind of cool. As for the depot, I think like over here isn't a bad place for it. Or even directly opposite the bus station, pretty much. If I was to build it there. The only problem with that is it then does cut off quite a key road there. So I think I'm going to squeeze it in here instead. So that we could still build a road up like this and have these two streets be able to connect like that, like that and then this one can carry on and form another route into the town like so and even from here, you know a road across like that and then this one can come down and you get the idea there's lots of room for potential growth and expansion here in Stowe Market we're, uh, we're quite fortunate in that regard. So, lines. I guess what we could do, for now at least, is reroute this one and get it to, to start operating. Uh, so from here, 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 there, and there. That's the plan. So let's do that first. Come on. There we go. Yep, you're going to go around there, 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 and then back, like so. Um, and you are going to be renamed Pax Stone Market 1. Did I press the wrong button? I think I pressed the wrong button. I think I opened that by mistake. There we go. 
Pax Stone Market 1. Now we're going to do Pax Stone Market 2, which is, I guess, going to start here. And then run there, run there, run there, and there, and then back. Hello? Why is it? Oh, there we go. Uh, and then there, and then back. Oh, that's interesting. That's not the same. I thought that would be the same stop, but it's not. Uh, no alternatives here. We're going to go for the dark blue. And you are Pax. Stone Market 2. Now, yeah, you're a slightly different shade of blue, which is actually quite annoying. So just for the record here, I'm going to do that. Right. Now, I don't think we can afford trams for all of these lines right now. So I might just make the new one as in two, might make that one be the um, the tram line for now. Like so. Now I'm, I'm really hoping, already that one's working, so that's good. Via Manchester Road, which is this stop over here. So that's, uh, that's encouraging to see. And then I'm hoping as well that this does start to get more interest although I'm tempted to move this stop to in front of this one like that and then West Street so you're before West Street so you're George Street and you're gonna stop at Stanley Road twice there you go and then we'll remove that one yeah I think that'll work better capacity of 20 I think that's 10 per vehicle, right? Yep. Already we've got people waiting here. Good. George Street. Oh, yeah. That's working out nicely. That one's working nicely. That one's working nicely. And then these ones over here. Looks like also working nicely. So now we've got that set up. Over time, I will remove the buses here. And I will put them as trams instead. Speaking of... Someone uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, at the time of recording this, episode 5 has just come out. So that's how far ahead I am again. Um, pointed out that this whole splitting lines thing is actually a, a load of nonsense. It just does not work. So I agree. I think at the time it seemed like a good idea, but in reality it does nothing except hold up traffic, as you can see. So we're going to fix that problem as well by taking out... What's a good way of doing this? Basically, we want the station, bus station there and the bus station here to have direct traffic. And actually, that the way that turns off there is kind of good for us too. How's that looking for... Um, no, not bad. Not bad. So I think we're going to get the Stone Market to Cockermouth line. And we're going to convert this one. So we're going to do this. And we're going to do this. There we go. And then we're going to take all of the traffic from the other line, which was this one, I believe. Yeah, and we're going to move that onto the the other one. So you're going to go like so. And then this one, we're just going to remove the line completely. Yep. And then from that, we can get rid of this, and we can get rid of that. And that should save us... Not a huge amount of maintenance, but an amount of maintenance. And then hopefully over time, we'll see this um, start running up to uh, to scratch again. I keep looking at the money, hoping to see that we've got over a million. But alas, not yet. But with this new system in place, that could end up being the case sooner rather than later. I was also really tempted to take this line here, run it through Stone Market, and then actually run it all the way up to Scarborough as well. The, the temptation is still there. Uh, it just wouldn't really work very well as a tram line at that point. It would make more sense to make it a bus line. But yeah, you know, we'll see. I'm a bit worried about how quickly Stone Market's going to grow right now. Considering we're not delivering everything. In terms of passengers and stuff, that's not bad. In fact, speaking of, that has increased by 5%. That's not bad. Stone Market 
coffee refinery as well. We have got people heading over that way, which to me suggests that we could maybe extend this line a little bit further still. Whoops. So if I was to build another street like this, you can come over like this. And I know the city can do this and pay for this, but I like the idea of planning out the street layout myself a little bit. Let's say we did that, and then this can form. Go on, game. There we go. And then it'll come over there once the uh, autosave is finished, which I can't remember the last time I actually saw an autosave on camera. That's um, becoming quite a rare thing these days. Let's say we did that, and then uh, somewhere, let's say over here, if we did this, and then upgrade these roads here, just for the fun of it, and then uh, if we did this, 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 and this, okie dokie. That's now going to look like that. We're then going to move this this stop over like this. And I think this is going to become the new line. So now, if I take this one, instead of terminating here, you're now going to go like that, like that, like that. And we'll remove number five. Excellent. We'll also remove this stop entirely. And we will... Uh, de tramify that street there. So now, yeah, it looks like this. Which I think is better, although this is the main road in and out of town for the trucks as well, so I might build a... Eh, I was going to say build a bypass, but actually I guess connecting this up might create more of a bypass or working with speed limits could be a way of doing it. Which I'm not entirely sure there is a possibility for that right now. But yeah, what we want is the ability to do this and actually have it join. Yeah, which it won't let me do, which is rather annoying. Oh well, it's fine. I'm sure the trams will work out well still. How's this looking good? Yep, looking all good. I, I've answered that question as I was asking it apparently. That's, uh, that's a new one. Let's finish some more street layouts over here. So we'll do this, like so, and then that one. I know it costs money to remove buildings, but we'll just do that for the, the shiggles. Right. So that experiment has worked well with Stone Market. You can see now, in fact, even here, there are buildings starting to appear on some of these roads, which is excellent. Once again, let's look at that. So that, yeah, 88% usage going out to the coffee refinery. Now, I don't know if this is new or not, or if it's a bug or what, that suddenly people are going out to work on the tram. I never knew that was a thing in this game, that you could serve industries with passenger-carrying vehicles. But that seems to be the case. So maybe we can come out to the coal mine here too. Extend this line all the way up. Find a new way of doing it, mine, so that it doesn't take up truck um, paths on the road here. But yeah, that could be a thing. That could well end up being a thing. Um, other lines making money. Stone Market 2, not yet. Stone Market 1, oh, definitely not yet. Do you know what then? Uh, just because... Let's get two for this as well. We'll stick you on Stone Market 1. And then we'll grab the other ones. Uh, these three and just for now we'll put you on the stone market to cockermouth line which I guess is still going to be bringing people in we could in fact put you on the Scarborough line thinking about it let's grab uh, I mean where are they for a start you let's actually put you on the Scarborough line which I know is extremely wasteful you, because you're not carrying anything anyway, or basically nothing, and then you, also on the Scarborough line. 
This might lose us a ton of money, by the way, because there might not even be enough people wanting to go to Scarborough right now for this to be justified. Uh, no, actually, there are people wanting to go. So what's that? That's 32 people, isn't it? Which is more than the capacity of one of these stagecoaches. So that could work out quite well. Also, this is starting to fill up nicely too. So I think it's just a matter of time. And because that experiment works so well, we're going to do something similar over here with Cockermouth. Except this time, the bus station is pretty central. Central enough, at least, that we can use it as the hub for this operation. So we'll start with the street layout. I'm going to do something like this, and then this one can go, I guess, like that. Like this. This can go all the way up to over here. And we can see how Cockermouth can grow, because that's something else I want to do in this series, is I want to actually properly grow towns, and not just leave them as the sort of underdeveloped locations that we've had in previous saves. I really do want to watch these towns grow and develop and turn into, you know, metropolises, basically. Uh, I'm going to be wary here so as to not end up in the hills too much. Let's do something like this and then like this. And already you can kind of see how the road layout here is going to work. Especially with things like, I don't know, a tram line, for example. We'll do that. This side here, I guess you can come out this way. We'll keep it cheap and cheerful where we can. He says, whilst building a huge road across like that. Um, that one can go into there like that. This one can come straight across and form something like this. And then we can even do... Oh, that's a good shape. Yeah, we'll do that. And then from here, that looks good. And then I guess just for this, like this, and like this. And then that, in theory, can form a space over there. And yeah, Cockermouth grows. And then when we do build a station down here, which I think we will do in the future, railway station that is, um, it's actually not far away from the town, which will be nice. Let's add that in there, and then the rest we can sort out in a second. So the bus station, yeah, kind of forms a central hub for all of this, which I think is cool. Let's build that round like that. We'll build that one like that. This can come across like so. Excuse me with the itchy head. Um, and yeah, it works. So now if we build tram lines, I guess we could turn this into a through station then if we're going to do that. How much would it cost to build a street access on this side? It's not too expensive, it's just will it look derpy once I link this up? It was actually higher than it, I thought it was lower. That kind of works too. So now we can have trams coming in from the various sides and then going out to the various sides. That That's fine. I don't see a problem with that myself. So let's plan the route out first and then we can build the, the stops. So I think if I add a couple more streets, just looking here because I don't want to go through the trees because I believe that does add to the cost. So let's say we go around like this and then join up like that. And actually bringing people over here, if the whole people take the tram to work thing is genuine, um, that could be a good way of, of getting people over to this part of the city. I'm just going to say city now, even though these are small towns because this is 1861 still. Um, let's be mindful of the fact that we don't want to impede on the trucks here again. So we're going to do something a bit more like this. And then over here, I guess we can do this. This. Could even do this. Like so. Yeah. So we'll have one line that comes from up here. Down through the center of town. 
and then runs out this way, maybe over to the steel mill or something. Uh, that's a tool factory, Mark. That's not a steel mill. Or even down... Actually, not to the farm. Don't need to go to the farm. The other one could potentially come down here as far as the coal mine. So, again, we could use... Let's just hypothetically... So that works. That doesn't. So we could do with coming a little bit closer if we can. Let's just, for now, do this. And then do this. Which I know goes against what I just said, but... Let's just for now say that that's the case. So now if I was to build one there. Oh, it's close enough. Ah, there. So I'm going to build that one early. Because it's close enough to serve the mine and the the stop here. So you never know. We might have people taking the, the tram to work there as well. And then this one will come along this road here. Then it will turn north in through the, the bus station there. And then it'll probably come out this way and then up this way-ish. Maybe even come over this way. But, yeah. As for this one then, it'll come in this one. Up this way. Into the bus station here. Out this way, this way. Actually, that one, it could come this way. And then maybe even turn north this way. Or run straight up. Run straight up is probably a better option, I would say. So then this road this road will become the two heavily served ones. What do you reckon? Does that sound plausible? I think it sounds plausible. It's just what do we do at this end of things? I like the idea of... Again, it's a bit pricey, but if I was to do this... Um, and then maybe have a street that comes down this way... that splits... But then also here, have just a little turn there. And I reckon, yep, that's close enough to serve that. And that'll be that terminus. So I think this then works quite well as a, a setup. So if we now do this, 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 along like this, and along like this. God, my wrist is very clicky today, as it turns out. They're saying that I think I might run it this way instead. Game. There we go. And then along like so. And then in and out like this. That's fine. And then this one will come along like this. And then I guess turn this way. Yep, let's go with that. And then this side. Was it this way I said? Yep, and then straight up here. Yep, that one works. The only thing we haven't done yet is this side, which I think for now... I mean, that's a question, isn't it? Let's say it came this way. And actually returned. So if it followed that one. Yeah that wouldn't work. Let's say it came up this one then. And then turned this way. And then. I don't know. For now let's just say it. I mean we could try and connect it all the way up over here. But I think that's a long long way out of town. But we can build the street for it. And then let's say we built this like this. Uh, oops. This like this. One like this. And then that one like that. That one like that. And then, yeah. Already. Oh, hello. Notifications popping up as well. Apologies for that. Um, this like this, this like this. Bit of lag. There we go. That one will just come in like that. And then, yeah, if we continue to run it this way, then you can kind of form a triangle here, maybe, or a triangle here, maybe, or... A triangle here, maybe. Maybe we just... We do just go the whole hog and have it serve 
this. It's really interesting to see whether or not people actually get the tram. I don't think it's a mod that I've installed either. I think that is something that's just in the game now, apparently. But yeah, this. As the Greater Cockermouth Tram Authority. Sure. I feel like if I built a tram stop here and here, this one would probably move to actually down here. So if I did that and that, and then we can get rid of... So I've got to be careful here because you actually have the line already running. So let's rename you now. Like so. We'll make sure that the uh, the right one gets removed at the time. And then coming out of town. Here and here is fine. And then possibly over here. And then another couple over here. And I guess for now, just that. But in the future, I think I might build another pair. I suppose I could do it. What's the harm? It's more maintenance, I suppose. But never mind. Uh, as for this one. There and there is fine. Over here. Game. Thank you. And then... Maybe just here. And you never know. The, the game might deliberately prioritize building things on streets that already are served. So this could be working in our favor. Uh, we need to remove all of this. And there we are. And we go here, 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 and here. We need to be careful with this because it needs to be on the right side, which I think it is. And then there... There, 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 and there, and then back. Like that, like that, like that. Cool. Uh, and then, yeah, you stop as you are there. Let's just, before I commit, just check and see. Yeah, Leatherhead Sawmill 2. Stone Market Coffee Ref So we actually got people from here going to work at the coffee refinery as well. And the farm? Which farm's that? Hang on. This one. I don't know how they're managing that. That's an interesting one. But 100% line usage, which is good to see. Cockermouth, not quite yet, but it might get there. And uh, we'll see on that one as well. And now, just to finish this off, we need to do the other side here, which is... There, 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 there. Oh. Did I not build? I feel like I'm missing something. I am missing something. I'm missing stops. Mark your plum. There and there. Uh, here. That's a bit didn't build this one either. Wow, I just completely forgot to do this section. Let's, um, yeah, we'll put that there. And then there and there. That's another notification. Don't know why I'm suddenly so popular tonight. And then we'll go there and there. I think that will work. So where was I? Line one. Alright. There. 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 And then back. Uh, it was there first, wasn't it? Yep. And then there. And then there. So you are packs... Cocker mouth two. And you're gonna be the nice dark blue colour, which is what the other one is gonna be as well, because we need to redo this one. Can I do that from here? Nope. But I can do it like that. Excellent. Uh as for where to build a tram depot here then, the two lines are quite close to each other on either side here. So if I was to extend this one out just a smidge and connect it down to here, we could build a tram depot right there. 
That could work. Let's do that. And then we'll just do this and this. There we are. Nicely done. So we're going to get probably three for each line. So we'll get six. One, two, three. You're on one. One, two, three. You're on two. You, we're going to rename Cockermouth uh, Bus Station, I guess. Like that. Already both lines are starting to get passengers, which is excellent. If I was to quickly come over here as well, we need to remove the bus from this line. We'll just sell you. That's fine. There we are. And then if we check this one last time, destinations. So we've got Cockermouth Tools Factory, Leatherhead Sawmill, Cockermouth Farm still. I'm not quite sure how that's happened because that is this. So I'm not quite sure how people... I guess because they're not using our line. There you go. Yeah, 0%. But the other ones are. So that's encouraging. Uh, Cockermouth Forest as well, which is the one up here. People are actually taking the tram to work, which is very interesting. Makes me wonder then, should we keep a stop over here so that people from Stone Market and Cockermouth can actually get off and go to work here too? Because surely then people are actually coming here for work, no? It's not listed. Oh no, Cockermouth Coal Mine. This one. Huh. That's very interesting. Anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that too much. I'm going to start wrapping up the video here. Just check how long it's going to be before these lines are profitable. I mean, that's half full already, so that's encouraging. And then if I click on this again. Yeah, all four directions, there are people waiting, which is incredible. I'm tempted to add extra platforms either side, but we'll see how fruitful that ends up being. One other thing I really wanted to do was over here, yeah, construction materials. If we can get that in somehow, that would be really good because then Cockermouth might even start growing. As for Stone Market then, uh, again, we'll just do a quick check. Well, this is doing well. So we could do... Actually, that's doing really well. Awesome. If I just turn on Line Manager again, we're probably going to have an influx of just buses and trams being bought. So I might hold off on that for a little bit. Uh, I was wondering, actually, if this line would be worth looping around and coming down to the steel mill. But I think, in terms of the direction that we built this, it'll actually be this line that maybe loops around. We'll see. Because right now, this serves nothing over here. So, actually, it comes this way, doesn't it? So, that'll be on my, uh, my, my to-do list as well for next time, I think. Is debate whether or not this line comes down or this one. Probably would be this one, but we'll see. For now, though, thank you very much for watching. Um... Yeah, leave feedback. Let me know if this works or not. And also, if anyone does have an answer for how people are taking my transport to and from work, that could just be a feature that I never knew was in the game. Or it could be a mod that I've, uh, you know, accidentally added and wasn't aware of. So any advice on that, much appreciated. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series so far. Drop some comments down below with ideas for future episodes. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you for your continued support. Um, enjoy the rest of your evening. And until next time, I will see you soon.